Russian troops losing ground there in Ukraine. Some Russians are now fleeing to avoid Vladimir Putin's military draft, with two men even arriving in Alaska and requesting asylum. Ian Panel is on the ground in Ukraine with the details on all of this. Good morning, Ian. Yeah, good morning, Cecilia. The large-scale Ukrainian counteroffensive that began actually around here around a month ago is still making significant progress as Russian troops retreat. Evidence is starting to emerge now the carnage and abuses they committed in occupied territories, as you say, as the flight from Russia to avoid fighting in this war takes a new turn. This morning, as the war rages in Ukraine, a new twist in the exodus of young Russians avoiding the military draft to fight in Ukraine. Two Russian nationals are in the hands of DHS after crossing the hazardous Bering Strait from Siberia to a remote Alaskan island. We don't anticipate a continual stream of individuals or a flotilla of individuals. In a statement, Alaskan Senator Dan Sullivan adding, this incident makes clear the Russian people don't want to fight Putin's war of aggression against Ukraine. On the ground in Ukraine, as Russian troops retreat, the scale of destruction by Putin's men is now becoming clear. The level of destruction in this town is truly shocking. Every single building has been razed to the ground. Because when the Russians came in here, they didn't just fire on the Ukrainian military. They deliberately destroyed every single building. And this is a policy that's been carried out across Ukraine, a policy of scorched earth. And this is why so many millions of people have been forced from their homes and the country. Now the Russians are being forced back. New evidence this morning of alleged war crimes. In Piski Rakivsky, we were taken to a house of horrors. Inside this tiny cramped basement, Ukrainians say they were beaten and shot. And the woodland, a few miles away, holds an even darker secret. A torture pit dug into the ground and buried at the bottom a shallow grave. Two bodies dressed in civilian clothes, handcuffed and shot. Well, guys, we're just getting breaking news that the Nobel Peace Prize has been awarded. Interestingly, it's going to uh, two different people, and it's sending a very loud and clear message, I think, to Vladimir Putin. One of them is Memorial. This is a very venerable uh, Russian human rights group that was closed by Vladimir Putin in December. Uh, the other going to a Belarusian, uh, also human rights organization, that's also come under fire. A message to Putin, a message to his allies that the world is watching and trying to hold them to account. Guys. All right. Ian Panel for us. We thank you as always. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.